Hi guys! I know it's been a while, I'm really sorry, I'm still trying to get into the back to school, back to work routine um, after the summer holidays, but I am back today with another video for you all. Today's video is going to be my current favourites. I'm not really doing this at the start of the month because, um, well, the products I use on a general day-to-day -day basis don't really change. I'm a bit of a creature of habit when it comes to things like makeup and skincare, but I don't think I've done a current favourites blog post in a while, so I thought for a change that it would be fun to do a video instead today. Let's get crack a shall we? So these are my beauty favourites. The first product that I'm going to talk about is this little beauty. It is the Rose Jam Limited Edition shower gel from Lush. Um, I went in there a few weeks ago and I saw this looking beautiful and sitting on one of the stands and I knew it had to be mine. I was very very restrained. I would try out the miniature and oh my gosh. This is just heaven in a bottle. It is just beautiful and I use this every time I have a shower. It foams up really well, it's really nourishing for your skin. It just smells beautiful and look how much I've got left. It's like that the tiny little bit. I really wish I picked up a bigger size now but I was trying to be good so I didn't. If you pop into a Lush anytime soon and there's one of these, pick it up if you are a fan of Rose, the Rose Argon body conditioner. Pick this up because you won't regret it. My next beauty favourite is along the lines of kind of skincare again and it is the Body Shop uh, Straw... is it called Strawberry? Yes, the Body Shop Strawberry Body Butter and I know these have been out for ages and ages and ages. I'm very late on the but... Uh, that's a mouthful to say. I'm very late on the Body Shop Body Butter bandwagon. That's really good alliteration for a Saturday morning. Well done me. Um, but I went to a body shop. Um, I'm a love your body card holder for the body shop. So I went to the Honey Mania kind of launch party um, a few weeks ago. And while I was in body shop, I um, picked up a few things. And this was one of them. Usually I'm not a massive fan of like fruity scented things because I think they smell quite artificial but this is just beautiful. Put it on every time I've had a bath or a shower just to keep my skin nice and moisturised. The scent payoff is just ridiculous. I mean it's just beautiful and if you layer it with a kind of sweetish perfume which I tend to wear on a daily basis it's, oh my God, it's like heaven. It's heaven for your skin that's what it is so I know the body shop do loads and loads of different scents of these body butters, so if strawberry's not your thing, there will definitely be something in there for you, so go and have a look. While we're on the body shop bandwagon, um, my next favourite is a perfume, and it is the body shop Chocomania Eau de Toilette. Oh, the toilette. I'd never tried body shop perfume before. Sarah from Saloka in Wonderland. Um, who's a very good friend of mine, um, actually recommended their perfumes to me. She has the vanilla one and um, she was just, she raves about it. She is a huge fan. So vanilla's not really a kind of me scent, it's a bit too, a bit too sweet for me. There's a fine line between the sweet that I like and the sweet that I don't like. It smells like kind of cocoa powder mixed with um, brown sugar. It's It just smells really, really gorgeous. It's not too overpowering a scent, but um, I spray it, I wear this as a day-to-day -day perfume for work because I think it's really wearable and it, the scent, if you spritz it on in the morning, it just lasts and lasts. For a day-to-day -day perfume, uh, it's really good. I've, again, had this, like the body butter, for a few weeks and I'm about halfway through this bottle. I'll definitely be investigating what other scents they have. But if you if you like sweet scents and you're looking for a really really reasonably priced perfume that you want to wear on a day to day on a day to day basis that's really easy to fit into your handbag, then I definitely recommend this. Next, it's on to makeup. 
makeup. Carmex, I think, for me, is my go-to lip balm. Um, this one is the classic Carmex. The classic Carmex. It's unscented, really, really moisturising, which at the moment, with the weather being like it is, is really important. Handbag staple for me at the moment is definitely this, because nobody wants to have chapped lips because that's just not sexy. Next up is a blush, and I have only really just discovered Sleek. I know, where have I been? I think it was a few weeks ago I picked this up. It's one of their, ooh, blushes. This is the Sleek Blush in Rose Gold, number 926, it says on the back. And I just think this is a really, really beautiful colour for autumn. It's a beautiful rose gold colour, it's got loads of shimmer, it gives you a really nice glow. The pigmentation is just ridiculous for the price, it's highly affordable so it's budget friendly and it's just gorgeous. If you're looking for a rose goldy blush, I would definitely recommend this one. And last in the beauty, cosmetic-y favourites portion of this video is a mascara and it is the Maybelline the Falsies Flared Volume Express Mascara. The Falsie, the Maybelline Falsies regular one was my regular mascara so I've been using that for years ever since it came out but when I was last in need of replacing my mascara I saw this one I thought I'd give it a go. I Compared to the falsies, I think I actually prefer it as a formula. The wand really, really gets into the crevices of your lashes and it really lengthens, really heightens and gives it a really nice curl without it being too over the top. And for a regular day-to-day -day mascara, this is my go-to one. I find it really, really helps brighten up my eyes and make me look more awake in the morning. I'm a huge benefit um, They're Real mascara fan. I think this is kind of the drugstore dupe for that because, I mean, it's a fraction of the price and I think, well, they're, they're real gives you a really, really nice um, eyelash volumising defined effect. This is slightly less intense. Ooh. I swear there's a massive spider in my house. I've been having dreams. And now I've just heard something moving up on my wardrobe, which is up there. Okay. So, so this next set, so next up are a few kind of miscellaneous favourites that aren't beauty or fashion related that I just thought I'd want to share. And to start it off, a candle. And I'm a hu I don't know if you know this about me, I don't know if I've talked about it before. Maybe I haven't, maybe I have. I am a candle freak. I love burning candles, I love having candles around even if I don't burn them especially ones in the winter that are spice scented or just really really rich. And I actually picked this one up last winter, I think it was around January, February time, from Tesco and it is the Sugar and Spice Candle and I'm really upset because I'm nearly at the bottom of it. It's like, you know me, I'm not very good at describing scents of things or notes but it's I knew this would be a video of me just smelling things. It's just the right level of festive spiciness for the autumn. I'm going to say this and it's going to be really, really cheesy. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a combination of a sugary smell and a spicy smell. It's not too overpowering. It doesn't smell artificial. It just fills the room with a kind of really fragrant, spicy, warm, just cosy feeling smell. And it's just really nice to have on, especially if you've had like a bad day or you really need to unwind. It is just perfect. It's a really nice orange colour, which is in keeping with the fall, autumn, fall, autumn, whichever one you choose to use, fall, autumn season. And I really hope, Tesco's, that you've got this in stock this winter because I will be coming and I will be buying at least three. And finally... We are on to the foodie portion and I've got two food items and one food related item that's not actually food but I'm going to show you anyway because I love it item. First up, Mr Kipling 
Winter Whirls. Oh my good wow. These these are the perfect medium between a Viennese Whirl. Oops, I just dropped crumbs on the floor. Anyway, a Viennese Whirl and a mince pie. It's not too festive, but it's just that right level of excitement that you get when you see mince pies in the shop. Um, I was actually a bit naughty and <laughs> I bought these at the start of the week and I hid them so that boyfriend couldn't find them and want one. And then I ate them all before Friday. That's really bad, isn't it? If you are a mince pie fiend, just like me, but you don't want to start buying yourself mince pies yet because it's not quite the festive season, I would definitely recommend trying these because they are just brilliant. And if you buy them, hide them from your friends. Next is a drink and it is the Nes yeah, it is Nescafe. Nescafe um lattes in vanilla. Um whenever I go to get a coffee out in town or if I'm driving and I stop at services, it's usually a flavoured latte because I just think they're delicious and they're a bit of a treat. These are the kind of supermarket grocery store equivalent. The only downside about these is they are quite expensive and I think they're usually about two in between two and three pounds which for a box where you only get eight sachets it's not really something that I can get on a weekly basis. Last time Mama Ginger and Papa Ginger were up which was last weekend for my zip slide um, Mama Ginger came in with three boxes of these and now I've no boxes left so you can tell how much I like them I forgot what I was going to say if you want to treat yourself and you are a little bit more restrained than me I would definitely recommend these ones they do do other flavours I think they do well I know they do caramel and Irish cream they do a mocha one they just do a normal kind of skinny latte but these are my favourite because they're not too sweet but they just add a little bit more um, sweetness than a normal latte. These are always going to be my favourites but they're kind of a special treat favourites. And last but by no means least this mug. How cute is this? I picked this up about a month ago. I went to Dunnell Mill which is just my home away from home. I seem to go there so much because it's just amazing. But I found this in there and I had to, I knew I had to get it. It's just so me. It's, re it's a really good sized mug with loads of woodland creatures on it. Owls and foxes and trees and flowers and I have my coffee in this. This is my mug now. It's nobody else's. Nobody is allowed to use it apart from me. It's just so so cute it like almost covers my face which to me is really important when I'm looking for mugs that I need to buy and I think it was really affordable as well which for a ceramic mug which is microwave and dishwasher safe in my opinion is a bargain a bargain is bargain so there we are guys those were my current favorite if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment or subscribe to my channel. It really means the world to me when I see that somebody has liked one of my videos or left me a comment. And I will be posting hopefully another video very soon once I've sorted out my kind of schedule of weekends. Until then, I will leave my blog link in the down bar below if you want to catch up on my latest blog posts. I also have a Twitter and Instagram account if you'd like to follow me there. And I will catch up with you very soon. Bye!